Hello YouTube, this is Apple Tech, and today I got the new iOS 5 custom firmware beta. Now this is developer preview 2 on an iPhone 2G, and as you can see I'm just going to go over the new things that are on iOS 5. Now the first thing you will need to know is when you restore your device to this firmware, you will have to reboot or download a couple of things from Cydia to get the multitasking, the folders, and the wallpaper to appear. So that's just a heads up when you download this and then all those three main features will start to work. Now the first thing that this custom firmware comes with that is new is it comes with Cydia. It comes with the iOS 5 white door setup. It comes with iCloud, reminders, terminal, and it separates the video with the music. And I am on an iPhone, not an iPod, but that's a really cool thing white door has included in their custom firmware. Now I'm just going to go over them, um, Cydia does work, this iOS 5 white door setup, it does not work, see you can press it, um, you can click it, you can enable the multitasking, enable the wallpaper and then the folders, you can enable the camera editing too but at the end the screen turns white as you can see, um, it does not work yet, remember it is beta so everything won't be completed. So you can just exit the application and nothing will happen. Um, iCloud, um, iCloud is just a Dropbox account, but they just put iCloud as the image. As you can see, it says Data Dropbox. So it is the Data Dropbox um, application from Cydia. It just has the iCloud look to it. Now this is another cool thing that White Door added to their firmware. Now the reminders does not work on the Develop Preview 2. As you can see, it crashes. Um, terminal does work as you can see there the video it does take you to the videos but I do not have any videos on my device so you won't see none um, same thing goes with the music now another thing that I notice is when you open a folder the folders open much quicker and it has a fade effect in the background so that's another thing that you don't have to add it already comes with the custom firmware as you can see as I said the folders open really quick like iOS 4 so that's an upgrade one other thing is when you double tap you can see that they got rid of the minimize button and the multitasking does come up quicker as you can see it um, comes up more faster and more smoother so that's another thing that white door has added to this you can always scroll to the side and view your music same thing you can scroll to the side and it tells you to respring right there so that's another thing that it has if you did not know that now another thing I want to go over is you can go to the settings application you can go to general about and if I scroll down you can see the version number is 3.5.0 in parentheses white door 500 um, they change that on the firmware it doesn't do nothing if you try to install something but it's just really nice how they changed the firmware which is originally 3.1.3 so that's another thing white door has changed maybe in the other releases they will change these switchers right here as you can see they will probably change them to the circle ones the iOS 5 has but that's just an idea wallpaper does work on this as you can see if I select this wallpaper and I put set you can see that I can set it for my lock screen and my home screen so I'm just gonna select it for my home screen because I really do like this wallpaper as you can see it makes it look way better um, another thing that this iOS 5 custom firmware has is when you scroll to your search bar you can see that right there it says search white door iPhone to me I really like that and it's just another add-on to the custom firmware. For those of you guys that want to know, push notification still doesn't work but YouTube circuits do work so YouTube is working. If I try to see something on YouTube it will work, the circuits do work for that. Now another cool thing that I saw but is that is not working is when you go into the camera application you can see right there you have the camera and the recording but then it disappears so that's just a bug that the beta has to fix so overall the iOS 5 custom firmware is great for your iPhone 2G more developer previews will be released so don't worry this custom firmware will upgrade in time 
Now if you want this iOS 5 custom firmware for your 2G iPhone, there will be a link in the description so you can download that one. Um, as well as the iPhone 3G, if you have that one, that one will be in the link in the description. The White Door team hasn't included the iPods yet. In the future, they should release for the iPods, first gen and second gen. So this has been a review on the iOS 5 custom firmware for iPhone 2G. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video down there. Leave any of your comments, questions below, folks. Tell me what you guys think about this iOS 5 custom beta developer preview 2. Like always, subscribe up there. This is Apple Tech. Peace out. See you in the next beta.